and I think that this is one of the coolest things we've ever filmed. Ferrofluid is an oily substance that sticks very strongly to magnets. It forms these unbelievably crazy spikes in the presence of a magnetic field. And so I wanted to drop the ferrofluid onto a styrofoam plate, but in a few cases there was a strong neodymium magnet underneath the plate, and in a few there wasn't. The beauty of physics. Did you see it? We saw this. Oh wait, are you saying like the drop is getting stretched yeah, it out? Yeah, elongated. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, it's that's I was really wondering, weird. I was, the droplet becomes elongated like a football. The American kind. Isn't that weird? The magnet is pulling on the bottom of the droplet harder than on the top of the droplet. So the bottom is actually falling faster than the top. If you swap out the magnet for the moon and the droplet for Earth, you get a situation that describes exactly why we have tides. So if you think about it, the Earth is essentially falling towards the moon because of gravity, but they don't ever actually collide because the moon is moving so fast sideways that it's in orbit. So the moon's gravity pulls on different regions of Earth differently and pulls harder on the oceans closer to the moon than on the Earth itself, which makes this happen, right? Not quite right, because there are two tides in a day. This is not intuitive. Okay, let's do this. Let's replace Earth with me and two unsuspecting members of my family. Gravitational forces, like magnetic forces, depend on distance. The further away from the moon, the weaker the force will be. So the force on dad is the weakest, the force on me is meh, and the force on mom is the strongest. As time passes, mom will reach the moon much faster. Let's see that now from Earth's, or our, perspective. The distance increases between me and my parents, so the high tides are just like high school graduation. They are the result of one tide being pulled away from the Earth, which is being pulled away from the other tide. So Earth's water gets pushed down from the poles onto the sides of the Earth. So if you imagine the oceans as a ferrofluid droplet encasing the Earth, that droplet gets elongated, and where it's elongated is where the high tides happen.